Hey everyone, we're here for another edition of Go Shop Local and uh, we're so excited today because we have Rebecca with us and as you can see why we're so excited, if you look behind her, there's like a mountain of candy everywhere and uh, I'm kind of resisting having to break into it all. Uh, thank you for being here today, Rebecca. As this is being posted, obviously they've been open for a little bit now, so you can check them out uh, in the kind of by the wayside, uh, it's in the Wayside Plaza Mall um, where Mr. Bills is. But as I'm interviewing, today's their opening day, which is very mm -hmm. exciting. So thank you for being here. Um, and the name, Dobbins, is that yes. correct? Where, where did that come from? Uh, so my husband's last name is Dobbins and well actually both of ours now because we're married yeah. but um, yeah so it's just our name we just kind of cool. went simple. <laughs> and what inspired you to open this? Um, well we started off actually as a health food store um, and then we realized that the niche just wasn't large enough for our for our market share for us and uh, we slowly added candy and it just kept selling out so we added more candy and then eventually we just went full candy um, and then Wainwright's doing super well but we have four kids um, and we want each of them to be able to have um, like a piece of our business when they get older if that's what they want so we kind of wanted to start uh, opening new locations and Lloydminster was is the first one. So you were in Wainwright before? Yes so we are in Wainwright uh, still in Wainwright but uh, now we are open in Lloyd. Okay, so how long have you been in Wainwright? Uh, we've been open in Wainwright for two years. Um, yeah, it was about the spring two years ago. And how are things going there? Really, really well. Um, always exceeding our expectations and um, uh, the community there is just so amazing, so supportive. They'll see like some businesses, uh, like if we're starting to struggle a little bit, that's when we see 10 of our, our supporters will come in and then they'll just buy stuff even if they don't need it just to give us a bit of a boost. It's, it's amazing how much support that they that they give us. Cool, that's awesome. So you're in Wainwright, you've uh, opened in Lloydminster now. Um, tell us a little bit about your store, what, what somebody can expect coming here. Yeah, so when you come here, really, we're kind of like the Willy Wonka of Wainwright, and now I have to come up with a new slogan for Lloydminster. <laughs> but we have uh, like new age candy, TikTok, uh, candy. We have nostalgic ethnic candy from Japan, from Brazil, UK, the United wow. States. Um, and then we also have some local treasures like uh, Soup Time Soup and Soap Fizz and Bubble bath bombs, Happy Hippo bath bombs, soon to be more bath bombs from another local lady. Smells by Belle. Those aren't here for our opening day, but they will be here shortly. Um, and then we have a lot of like Harry Potter candies and um, Harry Potter uh, gift um, gifts. Yeah. Uh, and the reason behind that is not only am I a huge Harry Potter nerd, uh, I ran uh, Harry Potter escape rooms out of our Wainwright location for the whole time until COVID hit. Um, huh? Yeah. Huh. Cool. So a bit of uh, a bit of everything, and it's I find it interesting how you said you. Started with a health food store yeah. <laughs> and eventually transitioned to candy. That's neat. So your your health food store did start in Wainwright, and that's where it evolved into candy. Yes. Yeah. We um we well we love growing our own vegetables. We're kind of like little farmers at heart, yeah, especially my husband. And uh, so yeah, we were selling our own fresh produce there, and then we were going and getting BC fruit and selling it there, and then just like health products, and it just. Like the produce did sell well, but it's a seasonal thing because I'm not going to sell bananas and right. say that they're a local product. You can go to Walmart and get bananas. So it was such a seasonal thing and it, it took a lot of time and effort and money to and the turnaround and the payback for it just wasn't as amazing as candy is. Right. Cool. Well, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did, uh, is, did you grow up in Wainwright all your life? Uh, so I did not grow up in Wainwright. I uh, grew up across Canada. Um, my husband and I are both ex-military. I was a base brat as well. Um, so I was born in BC, but I've spent the least amount of time in that province. Um, we would po be posted several times a year when I was growing up. I was, I took a contract here in Wainwright and my husband took a contract here in Wainwright, not here, yeah. sorry, in Wainwright. Yeah. And uh, that we actually met in Wainwright, had four children, and then 
Yeah, so it's, it is our home, but it's not where we came from. James came, comes from Ontario as well. Oh, well, and four kids, how old are your kids? Um, so yesterday was actually my third son's birthday, and so he's six, and his older brothers are eight and nine years old, and then the younger sister is four. <laughs> you, you're busy then. Yes. <laughs> so what do they think of the candy store? Oh, they love it. They probably get way too much candy actually, but <laughs> they wanted more candy when I come home from uh, setting up Lloyd Minster uh, this week, but I told them I'll just give them something that's not candy, maybe a bath bomb because <laughs> dental bills are high. <laughs> yeah. Easter's coming. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, yeah. Um, so what, uh, anybody looking to come, I know we kind of explained you're, you're in the, the plaza here across from the mall by Mr. Bills. What are your hours of operation? Uh, so right now we are open Monday to Saturday, 10 to 5. Uh, we do, uh, we are going to think about extending those hours to later in the evening if uh, Lloyd Minster surprises us with the amount of people coming in and wanting to, us to be open later. Wainwright, everyone's kind of done shopping by five. They all just are going home, so no one really is out on the street. So that's right. why we stay closed after five. But yeah, we'll see what Lloyd Minster wants. And I'm curious, uh, so what, out of everything that's here right now, any recommendations or what's your favorite? Hmm, that's a hard one. Um, I know, well, if you're looking for a recommendation to buy for your children, especially teenagers, we have TikTok famous jelly fruits that they can do hit or miss with. But we also have all sorts of nerd gummies, nerd ropes, nerd clusters, and regular nerds. Regular nerds. Uh, my favorites are the saltwater taffy and the cowtails. And that's just because they're like a soft chew. And yeah, they just are amazing. We have so many different flavors of saltwater taffy. Awesome. Yeah, I noticed even when I was doing walks through the store, like all the different, I mean, it's not like you just have one candy. It's like there's a bunch of different flavors of one candy. Yeah. Where you might have a chocolate bar and it's different flavors than what you get at the grocery store yes. or even the gas station. It's something that you can't really find anywhere We else. work really hard to try and import like as many uh, as, like cool finds as we can. It, it is a hard thing to do right now with, uh, with COVID happening, right. uh, but yeah. We work hard to make sure we have a good variety. Lloydminster doesn't have the full variety that Wainwright has yet, but uh, over the next two weeks, we should be caught up. Right. That, so. Cool. Well, I encourage everybody to come check it out. This is the coolest spot ever. Bring your kids with you. They're never going <laughs> to want to leave. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Thanks for coming to Lloydminster. We welcome you and we hope the best for you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh,